So we have completed our outdoor testing with the Mevo Gen 2 launch monitor and it did phenomenal. So now we are gonna be taking it and testing indoors. Radar launch monitors typically need more ball flight to get the best accuracy. So we are going to set it up in one of our enclosures and see how it goes. For our testing today, we are gonna be putting it up against the IXO2 launch monitor. Uh, this one is a tried and true launch monitor we have at Carl's Place. We really trust the accuracy on it. For the test, we are gonna be hitting 10 shots each with a driver, a six iron, and a pitching wedge. So we have the Mevo Gen 2 here set up eight feet behind our hitting area. Uh, we do have it set up for indoor use. We are gonna be using an RCT golf ball as we're performing our tests. And all of our readings are gonna be taken off the FlightScope app on our iPad. So starting off, we are gonna hit 10 shots with the driver. Low, bad and low. We got a one, 87.3 carry there. Over here we had a 208.3. Shot shape between the two, the uh, Unicorn definitely showed it going more to the right. It's like the Mevo did have it tailing off a little bit, but the, the Unicorn was much more drastic. So this shot we had a 219 and a half from the Unicorn. Uh, we had a 225.9 from the Mevo. Uh, this one, the Unicorn, you can see it starts off to the left and it comes back pretty dramatically to the right. The Mevo, it starts left and it just stayed left. I feel like the Unicorn, just based on how that felt, Unicorn's shot shape is probably gonna be more accurate on this one. But let's keep hitting and see what we get. <laughs> So that's a 202 and a half carry from the Unicorn, 223 from the Mevo Plus. The Unicorn shows a pretty dramatic slice. The Mevo, in this case, it went just about straight as an arrow, which I don't feel is accurate. Yeah, I would say so far, it seems like the Unicorn, at least for shot shape, is, is doing better. For distance, I definitely feel like I'm not hitting it well right now. I feel like probably the Unicorn is gonna be more in line with what I would expect. Oh, that's so far right. Oh my God, that went straight as an arrow. That felt like I pushed it. That felt like a terrible swing, but <laughs> that's the best one. Yardage, 238.9 from the Unicorn, 208.6 from the Mevo. Now, on this one, the Unicorn is showing a lot less, where before I feel like it was showing like 20 yards-ish more. And on this one, I felt like I pushed it. The Unicorn is showing straight. The Mevo is showing a slice. This one definitely felt like that's the flight it should have been taking. Uh, we had a 228.7 from the Unicorn, 220.4 from the Mevo. So that's closer than we've seen for yardage, but the flight path is completely different. Uh, Unicorn shows it starting off to the left and slicing back around. The Mevo shows it just going straight left and has basically no movement. So the spin on this one uh, shows 24.14. Up here it's 24.18. So it's very close. So on this test, we're really, you know, trying to get through it. We're only recording the carry numbers, but you'll also see the shot shape for each shot and some of the other data points that the launch monitors each recorded. So we just wrapped up our 10 shots with the driver. You can see the ball flight on the screen wasn't always matching up the ball flight that we were getting from Mevo. I feel like probably the Unicorn was showing the more accurate ball path, uh, just based on what those shots felt like. And then as far as the distances, again, there was you know, quite a bit of difference on a lot of the shots with an average of 8.6% difference from the Unicorn to the Mevo. Most of the time, uh, the Unicorn was showing a longer distance, but there was a couple times where that kind of switched. All right, so next up, we're gonna move on to 10 shots with the six iron. So that is showing 162.8 from the Unicorn, 161.1 from the Mevo. 
much better start. Ball flight, the Unicor showed starting to the left, slicing around to the right. Mevo showed starting to the left and a little bit of a slice back, but not very much. That was fat. So we got 142 and a half from the Unicor, 127.8 from the Mevo. This time the Unicor showed pretty much straight left, so maybe a little bit of a of movement. The Mevo that time showed that it started left and then sliced back to the right. So again, we're seeing some different readings here between the two launch monitors. Again, I do feel like probably the Unicor is what I would have more expected from that kind of shot, but let's see as we continue along here. I hit that one really good. So 184.3 from the Unicor. Uh, we got 180 from the Mevo. So the Unicor is showing us, you know, started to the left and came back more towards the center. So on the Mevo, it's showing that it stayed to the left a bit. I mean, the, the flight path is definitely different between the two, but it's, I feel like that one is a little closer than we've seen. Distance wise, it was definitely closer than we've seen on some of the other shots, so. <clears throat> 179.1 from the Unicor, 179.8 from the Mevo. Uh, so yardage there, was pretty dang accurate between the two. The Unicor on the screen showed, again, starting off to the left, coming back towards the middle. Uh, the Mevo, it showed that it started left and didn't really come back much at all. Oh, that was super fat. You got me thinking about it now, John. <laughs> 136.7 from the Unicor, 134.7 from the Mevo. So we just wrapped up our 10 shots with the six iron. This time the Mevo did much better as far as the distance, uh, where it was off by just a little more than two and a half percent on average for the yardage. We saw a pretty big gain in accuracy there. As far as the shot shape goes, uh, you'll be able to see the replay, but the Mevo was not showing as much of a slice as the Unicor was. Uh, I feel like probably the Unicor was more accurate as far as the shot shape goes. If you've ever seen any of our videos before, you know I tend to slice the ball. Um, so I feel like the Unicor is probably going to be more accurate for what I would expect to see in real life. Next up, we are going to be doing 10 shots with the pitching wedge. So starting off 120.9 from the Unicor, 113.8 from the Mevo Gen 2. This time, both of them went the same direction and have very similar shot shapes. And it felt like I pulled that pretty good. So I would say that's pretty accurate from both of them. So hopefully that'll keep up with the short game here. 107.1 from the Unicor, 103 even from the Mevo. Uh, this time the Unicor shows that it started off pretty straight and drifted to the right. Mevo also shows that it started off pretty straight and drifted to the right. Uh, so again, they look, the Unicor might be a little more exaggerated for the, uh, the slice, but they both relatively accurately got that shot shape. 114.8 from the Unicor, 111.9 from the Mevo. Uh, this time for the shot shape, they do look a little more different on this one. Uh, Unicor started off just to the left and ended up quite a bit to the right. The Mevo started off pretty straight and ended pretty straight. So you know, it's still more accurate than we've seen in, on the other shots, but still a little bit off. So that is 121.6 from the Unicor, 120.2 from the Mevo. Shot shape, pretty similar on both of those, which I felt like I pulled that one as I hit it. And uh, yeah, you can definitely see that on both of the launch monitors. 124 and a half from the Unicor, 120.2 from the Mevo. Uh, this time, 
The shot shape maybe looks a little bit different, but they both ended up, it looks like relatively the same spot. So uh, we're definitely seeing a lot more accuracy on the shot shape with the pitching wedge. So we just wrapped up our 10 shots with the pitching wedge. This time it seemed like the shot shape, while it wasn't always perfect, was definitely more accurate than our previous two clubs. Uh, so that was encouraging to see. The difference in distance between the two, we're off by 3.9-ish percent, a little more than 3.9 percent. Uh, so again, not bad for a radar launch monitor indoors. So our final thoughts on the Mevo Gen 2 launch monitor, uh, it's you know pretty much what we expected. Outdoors, it did fantastic. We brought it inside and like with other radar based launch monitors we tested there were you know some struggles i think probably the biggest struggle that we saw was the shot shape where it was you know consistently off of what i would expect and consistently off of what the unicor was showing which i feel like the unicor is probably more accurate as we did those initial uh, tests with the driver the six iron and the pitching wedge as we move from the driver down to the six iron down to the pitching wedge it seemed like the distance accuracy improved and maybe the shot shape improved a little bit uh, but there were still you know a few issues but all that being said we're comparing a sub fifteen hundred dollar launch monitor to one that can go for eleven thousand dollars so for a launch monitor that right now is you know about a tenth of the price of the ixo2 you're still getting a good accurate setup uh, might not be 100% what you're looking for but if you're taking it outdoors to the range and really trying to work on your game there this is definitely worth a, a good hard look so that is it for our indoor test with the mevo gen 2 if you haven't checked it out already make sure you go and take a look at our outdoor range tests with this launch monitor it was dead on accurate uh, so if you have any interest in a launch monitor to take to the driving range. It's definitely worth checking out that video. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the comments below and we will see you in the next one.